tonight, we are learning more about the wild claims made during the presidential debate last night. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. <laughs> you talk about extreme. Tonight, Governor DeWine and Springfield city officials pushed back on that widespread information about the local Haitian immigrant community. The unproven claims by former President Trump may have originated with a Springfield resident telling the city commission without evidence about immigrants grabbing ducks from parks. City officials tonight say the claims were then reshaped by a story that we brought you last month from Canton. A woman arrested for eating a cat. The Canton Police Department releasing new body cam video today of the arrest of Alexis Farrell, who is a U.S. citizen and not a Haitian immigrant. The misinformation has a local Haitian community tonight upset, fearing for its safety and for its members. They are now sharing other reasons on how the claims may have started. They are speaking out this evening to our Lydia Aspara, who joins us now. So Lydia, what did they have to say? Well, certainly there has been so much miscommunication, but tonight there are several people who live and work in that community that want to set the record straight. The idea of Haitians killing and eating residents' pets all began here in the city of Springfield, a city where 15,000 Haitian immigrants have now settled. Sophia Pierlis is a Haitian immigrant. She lives in Columbus and she's an activist and helps the Haitians in Springfield. We talked to her via Zoom and she says this is a bad situation. Why would we be happy about accusations of eating dogs and cats? Pierre says the Haitian community has been threatened and people are believing Haitians are after their pets. Very fearful for their lives because some of them wants to move out of um, Springfield. Um, they feel unsafe. Pierre Liss believes all this hate rhetoric began with this, a bus accident last year involving a Haitian immigrant. Hermanio Joseph, he went left of center with his Honda onto the path of an oncoming school bus. 23 people were injured. 11-year-old Aiden Clark was killed. Joseph was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter and vehicular homicide. Aiden's dad is calling the crash an accident and says this hate on the Haitian community would not be happening if Joseph was a white man. But if that guy killed my 11-year-old son, the incessant group of hate-spewing people would leave us alone. David Leopold is an immigration attorney and agrees the rhetoric should not only be toned down, but it should go away altogether. Hating on immigrants hurts everyone, and most of the immigrants in Springfield are legal. They understand the opportunity. They work really hard. They pay taxes at a higher level. They buy homes at a faster rate. They start businesses at a higher rate. They're the ones who are adding to our economy. Aiden's father, Nathan, suffers the loss of his son. He doesn't have resentment towards the Haitians. He doesn't believe they are killing family pets. But he does resent his son being used as a political pawn. And the Haitian community should also be left alone. Please stop the hate. I said to Aiden that I would try to make a difference in his honor. This is it. Live like Aiden. I just got off the phone with Pierre Liss and she told me her son was at a Bible study this evening in Columbus and the people there were asking him if he really eats cats and dogs. So here we go. So what's next for the Haitian community? So far, the mayor is saying the allegations are false. The mayor of Columbus is condemning the hate. Russ. Okay, Lydia Spara here in the studio. Thank you.